वट केम फ्रॉम दी क्ले गोज टू दी क्ले वेदर यू बर्न द डेड बॉडी इंसिडरेट इट और यू जस्ट बरी इट वट एवर यू डू इट गोज फ्रॉम वेयर इट केम इट गोज बैक बट द स्पिरिट एंड नॉट ओनली द स्पिरिट the essence of the life of this individual along with that spirit goes to god you know there's a very important aya of quran which we recite whenever something bad some calamity occurs to us inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajiun we belong to allah god we have come from him who's that we not our animal being but our spiritual existence wa inna ilaihi rajiun and we are going to return to him what happened at death and this is now the second death i quoted the ayah rabbana amatta nasmatan you put us to death twice once when we were spirits only you put us to death and then when we were born in this world of matter along with the body again after some time you put us to death and this is the second death and now will come the day of resurrection that will be second revival amatta nasnatain wa ahyayta nasnatain you put us to death twice and then you revived us twice and after that now i have given so many lines why now the human beings will be separated into different groups either to hell or heaven and again here i write to eternity but i have put a question mark according to the general and orthodox belief the hell and heaven both are eternal 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 never to end but there have been some scholars interestingly two scholars who are dead against each other ibn arabi and ibn taymiyah they both think that the hell will come to an end at time at some time very long period very long period very long period but it will come to an end but the heaven will remain forever and ever and ever and from among our mystics they say that these arwah of the people who are in heaven will eventually go and merge with divinity with the person of god but these two things are not the main concept or belief of the muslims it is hell and heaven both eternal so now one point more and then i proceed to the second point these two beings of human being the animal being body plus life and the spiritual being they are absolutely independent of each other and full personalities now our animal being it has its own sources of knowledge the external senses we get the sense data and this brain here processes the data and we infer and we understand something that is put to memory in this computer of brain so we see with these eyes this is our animal sight we hear with these ears this is our animal hearing we think with this brain this is our animal thinking the roof or the spirit it has its own eyes it sees without these eyes it hears without these ears it contemplates and thinks 
itself, not through this agency of the brain computer. There are many ayat of the Quran which tell this. فَإِنَّهَا لَا تَعْمَلْ أَبْصَارِ وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَلْ قُلُوبُ الْلَّتِي فِي السُّدُورِ in Surah Hajj. These eyes don't get blind. The infidels, the opponents of Muhammad, Allah's grace and peace be upon him, they were not blind of eyes. They were blind of their spirits. وَلَكِنْ تَعْمَلْ قُلُوبُ الْلَّتِي فِي السُّدُورِ Because the spirit, its abode is our heart. For the animal being, it's a pump, which is pumping the blood. But the spiritual being, for the spiritual being, it is the abode that is there, dwelling there. So these spirits can see, they can hear without these eyes and ears. And it thinks, لَهُمْ قُلُوبٌ لَا يَفْقَهُونَ بِهَا Quran says they have hearts because Ruh is in the heart. That is the abode. So we have given them the Ruh, the Qalb. But they are not contemplating with it. This is not this eye. This is not this brain. This is the sight and the hearing and the contemplation of heart or we may call it spirits. So this is actually the existence of human beings being composed of two elements. The animal, let me quote here a Persian couplet of Sheikh Saadi, the sage and poet, Persian sage and poet. Admi zata turfa majunast. As farishta sarishta was heva. This human being is a very strange type of mixture. In it we have an angel as well as animal. The animal is our animal being, coming from clay. Its desires and lusts, they take us down. But the Ruh, spiritual being, came from God. And it wants to be nearer and nearer and nearer to God. There is a pull in, within ourselves. These two beings, they are at daggered round. The animal being, the id or libido, they want to take us to the lusts and pleasures of this world, taking us to the clay. But the spirits, they want to take us high up, nearer and nearer and nearer to God.